telephone number okay and on for of I um, dot sal call on put box enter the salary okay so uh, this is how you read the information okay using a subroutine so I will modify this one you just double click read info and what we're you're gonna call is just read info we're calling the subroutine and it's done now uh, we want to display the information and we are gonna display it using a data grid view this is data grid view you place one here okay so uh, what are the columns here we are gonna add a column the f uh, we'll make it read only and the frozen we don't want to modify it the first one will be name at second one will be uh, telephone add and the last one would be salary and add close it okay so uh, as you can see here now we will display the information in this one also we are gonna use uh, we are gonna use another subroutine to display the information so here sorry okay full the da the data grid with array on four and the way I'm gonna do it I won't access the array itself directly instead I am gonna pass it by parameters just uh, to uh, rehearse the subroutines okay so here uh, we will have a public sub full data grid view and we have uh, uh, that sorry that and you put the uh, the brackets to indicate it's an array and as uh, person info okay and TGV as data grid view okay now what are we gonna do first of all is to clear the data grid view dgv dot rows dot clear then we are gonna loop on the items uh, dimension i as integer for i equals zero to that dot length minus one dgv dot rows dot add and it's gonna be like this it will be that of i dot name that of i dot uh, telephone and that of i dot cell okay as you can see here it's as simple as that now uh, we will modify the code after reading uh, we'll modify the, co uh, the code after reading the information we're gonna fold the array so it will be full dgv okay I'm passing the info array and passing data grid view one okay so I read the information and then follow the array simple as that uh, let me save this and run okay read info uh, three people Smith again telephone number 600 second one John and let's say John's having 800 okay last one uh, Michael okay and this okay and salary let's say 450 okay as you can see these are the information of all those people okay so here uh, as you can see the main idea here is that with this uh, with this structure it was easier to track the information we already know which person we are working with 
okay, uh, sorry, which variable we are working with, and uh, we can access the properties right away. Uh, you don't have to remember the exact name of the variable. All uh, of the variable, for example, here for this person, you don't have to remember the variable name or the variable tau or sal because. Uh, you know, uh, all you have to do is write the variable name followed by a dot. Uh, for example, info uh, of t of three dot. When you press dot, you will get all the properties uh, within that object. Okay, so so this basically makes programming easier. Now, we are gonna make something. Uh, we are gonna write the sort, uh, the bubble sort again. Uh, just to show you how uh, it, it will help us okay uh, how the structure helps us so now let's add this button and let's add sort okay okay before adding the code here here we are gonna to create a subroutine this sort or the sort subroutine public sub sort now also I am I'm going to pass the array here okay uh, I won't use the uh, I won't choose the array directly it's always better to to pass the array and now um bar if uh, arr as person info okay so dimension flg as boolean dimension i as integer now do loop while flg so flg equal false for i equals zero to ar.length minus two okay and now if a r r of i dot name is smaller than a r r of i uh, plus one dot name sorry greater than then we are gonna swap them now in order to swap we're defining a temporary variable now we want to swap all the information of the person so this one it will be person info okay the way to swap it is like this uh, temp equal arr of i okay arr of i uh, equals arr of i plus one and finally arr of i plus one equal uh, temp so and uh, one last thing flg equal true okay so this is basically how it uh, how how it should be okay now let, let me just call sort and uh, i'm passing info finally i will display the information again okay now uh before running the code check this out when i am swapping i how many properties do i have i have three properties and these are name telephone salary in the traditional 